morning. It is January 7th, 2023. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Breaking overnight. First, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener. Your world in 90 seconds. I think Jeff would look really Rock good in the Elvis jumpsuit. Rock of hula? Yeah, you could pull that off. Sure. Have you guys seen the movie? No. Oh, I hear it's Elvis? Really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? Oh, I did. You gotta watch. Yeah. Anyway. You haven't seen it? No. Neither have I. Shocked. I'll do it. I'll, he's, I'll, seen, I'll, he's seen Top Gun Maverick. I'll do it. Well, it's a great, great movie, obviously. <laughs> I'll do it this weekend. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor. It's our first show of 2023. Yes, it is. And we're all back together. We Thank are. goodness. Good stuff. I'm loving it. I'm Jeff Glor, along with Michelle Miller and Dana Jacobson. This morning, we are going to take you behind. Good Saturday morning. It's going to be a rough week ahead, no doubt about it, here in California. I know we've been praying and begging for rain and snow over the last year or so with the severe and exceptional drought, but this is a little too much for the landscape to take here. This is over the past seven days. We have seen up to around a foot of rain along the coastal sections, including around San Francisco Bay and across the foothills of the High Sierra. We have seen several inches of rain, and unfortunately, with previous wildfires, Fires. We've got the lack of vegetation and therefore the threat for mudslides and flash flooding. Because this is our forecast, what's to come? Another foot of rain on the way around San Francisco Bay right through Tuesday. We've got flood watches already in place for much of California. And here's why we are likely to experience flash flooding across the North San Francisco Bay area, anywhere in the green. It is possible. We see flash flooding, mudslides, landslides, that kind of thing. And even Monday into Tuesday, more heavy. Heavy rain. As our parade of storms continues, and as I play this, our future radar, there's really not much of a break in between these systems. The rain just keeps on coming in. Snow levels running rather high across the Sierra Nevada, but there will be plenty of snow at the highest elevations and plenty of rain along the coastal sections and especially the foothills of the mountains and more precip for next week as well. And Michelle, for more in-depth coverage, you can watch the Weather Channel on cable and now streaming live on your favorite TV streaming device. Kelly Cass, thank you. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. I'm Michelle Miller with Dana Jacobson and Jeff Lohr. And coming up this hour, whether in television or major motion picture. We've been hearing about this for a while. We're very excited for you. I am excited. I'm so nervous. Uh, you know, we're so used to delving into other people's lives. This is truly a humbling experience for me because it's about me, my belonging, and me sort of coming out of this insecurity. <laughs> Jeff is looking at me and saying, no. well, you oh. still... <laughs> no, I but, think many but no. people who know you have, have heard this story, but it's now it's good, good that more people are getting a chance. Yeah. Right, right. And so yeah. it sort of was birthed out of the story that I did uh, for CBS Mornings, where I was told to kind of go and talk about my 25 years of covering social justice. And a 20-second turn that I made talking about the family turned into someone calling me and saying, you have a book. Can't wait to read it. So it is coming out and pre-order. It's where most uh, you buy any of your books. Uh, so I got a PDF. I'm going to start reading it today. Please, please. <laughs>